Hello friends, in this lecture we will discuss about the different study designs and their objectives. The design of the study is very important for the researcher for the simple reason that if the appropriate design is not chosen before the study then the aim of the researcher remains unfulfilled. As you know that the aim of every research is to know the truth and truth exists somewhere in the universe but it is unknown to anybody. Therefore, a researcher identifies the target population on whose uh, study, on whose objectives his study is based upon and then chooses his phenomenon of interest. Now, the process by which the intended sample is chosen from this target population and the intended variables are identified from the phenomenon of interest constitutes what we call the design. So, if the design is faulty, then the truth in the study is not going to reflect the truth in the universe. And therefore, the purpose of the research, the basic purpose of research that is to know the truth goes unfulfilled. Similarly, if the, after the design, the next phase is implementation where actual subjects are chosen from the intended sample and actual measurements of the intended variables are performed. If implementation is faulty, the findings in the study will not reflect the truth in the study and therefore will again take us back from the truth that exists in the universe. Therefore, both design and implementation are equally important for the researcher to make a successful research. If you go into any standard textbook of medical research, you will find that the studies have been classified into different subtypes based upon their designs. You can see this kind of classification on primary and secondary research, further subclassification into basic science, clinical research, epidemiological research, epidemiological research and so on and so forth. But do not get confused by looking at these classifications because to an ordinary researcher in clinical research, there are only two designs. One is the observational and two is the experimental. In an observational study, the researcher identifies subjects and records the characteristics after observing them. Whereas in experimental research, the researcher identifies the subjects, places them in a common context, does some intervention and observes the effect of such an intervention. So the basic difference in the design of an observational versus an experimental research lies in the fact that in the